Please report to stations immediately. Welcome back, History Nerd fans, and today we, I will be giving my full and death review of Orion at King's Island, the new 2020 B&M Giga Coaster. Um, and to start off with, um, I'm not too big of a fan of Orion. Millennium Force is definitely better up at Cedar Point, which, as this video is being recorded, that is the only other Giga Coaster I have personally ridden. And I do think Millennium Force is leagues better than Orion. But there are some pretty good moments in Orion. And I'll give you um, a little bit place ranking of where I think it is at Kings Island's lineup. So, you, um, the 300 foot drop really honestly does not feel that long. It does not feel 300 feet. Um, compared to Millennium Force, you can definitely feel that height, even though there's a bunch of rides there that are 200 plus feet at Cedar Point. It really does not feel 300 foot. It really just feels like a super tall B&M hyper coaster. And I'll be giving a lot of comparisons to the other B&M hyper coasters I've ridden, um, like Mako and Diamondback and Nitro. All three of those guys, even Candemonium has a better first drop than Orion, which is kind of crazy to think about. Um, the first overbank turn really doesn't give that good of airtime either. I rode both the front and the back, and the back on Orion, it's pretty good off the drop. Um, the overbank's okay. But I just feel like B&M really just tried to do something that they really haven't been doing, which is kind of out of their reach. Like what Intamin and RMC have done with Overbank Turn, I feel like they've just tried really too hard on that element. And then after that, you go into the reverse treble clef, with, which I have not been able to do uh, the normal treble clef, like on Fury 325. But there's some pretty nice um, speeds going into it. And then after that, you go into a speed hill, hill, which I will say the speed hill is pretty good. One of the best moments of Orion, even though that's not one of my favorite moments of Orion. Um, I do think the speed hill on Canemonium is a lot better. And same with Mako. Mako's speed hill is honestly the best speed hill of any ride. Um... B&M Hyper that I've been on, slash B&M Giga. Uh, so after that, you go into a pretty decent-sized Camel Hill, which Diamondback's Camel Hills are a lot better than Orion's. Then you go into the super, super intense Helix, which is a lot better than Canemonium's, but it's not as good as Goliath at Six Flags Over Georgia's Helix or Nitro's Helix, or even actually Diamondback's Helix in the same park. After that, you go into this weird um, airtime hill to the, that's banked to the side, which is a lot better than Candemonium's, which is the only other ride that I can think of that I've been on that has a similar airtime hill. And then you kind of just pop into the brakes. That's the full experience, really, for Orion. I'm probably forgetting some small parts. But the best parts on Orion are that helix and the weird little hill that you take before you hit the brakes. Um, so I do think the ending is a lot better than most B&M Hypers, but for the most part, the drop was pretty forgettable. The bank was over bank turns, pretty forgettable. The whole entire ride's kind of just bland when it, when it comes down to it. I personally do think that Diamondback is the best ride at the park still. Definitely doesn't dethrone Diamondback whatsoever. Um, honestly, it's really close between the Beast and Mystic Tempers and Orion for second place. I could definitely see some people saying that Orion's third or even fourth behind Mystic, Diamondback, and the Beast. Even fifth behind Banshee, I can low-key kind of see that, even though I don't at all care for Banshee, and I'll do another review for Banshee later on. Um, but 
overall, I personally think um, Orion, it's a decent fit for King's Island. We've been wanting a Giga, and they gave us a Giga. Is it what we want? Not really. Um, very underwhelming. It barely makes into my top 50 coasters that I've ridden out of 156 currently as this video is being made. But overall, it's a decent ride, has some really good stats. But I will say, the um, compared to Millennium Force or any other Cedar Fair ride, it does have really good theming. The theming and the interactions that it gets um, from the past attractions, like with Vortex, there's a lot of references to Vortex and Flight of Fear, and overall what they did with that whole area of the park, um, which was definitely an upgrade that was needed for that area of the park. I am pretty glad that they did that um, with a brand new attraction. So overall, Orion isn't so much the negativity. Um, the ride experience, definitely underwhelming for a season coaster enthusiast, but someone who just casually goes um, to Kings Island and doesn't really get to go anywhere else. It'd be a, it's a really good coaster. Um, but anyway, if you guys liked this video, leave a like, leave a comment, and we'll see you guys out in the queues.